This program is supported by The Intertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. Tis the season. Let's hear about the return of a regular seasonal event at the New London Historical Society. So welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. And my name is Katherine Nevins, and I'm here today standing in Main Street Bookends. We are approaching our 25th anniversary, so we're extremely excited. But I'm here to tell you about what's happening here in Warner on Saturday, December 3rd. We are so happy because we are able to bring back a tradition that's been going on for many years, and that is the Warner Hometown Holidays. So we have activities and events planned for the entire day. The Festival of Trees in the Town Hall will be, will, will be a place to come and experience the beautiful trees. Down in the basement of the Town Hall will be the Holiday Farmer's Market, which is always great, all kinds of fresh produce, what there is, lots of crafts, lots of, uh, lots of artisans. There's also going to be artisans down in the Upton Chandler House, which is part of Warner Historical Society. And they're going to be going down, they're going to be there from 10 to 4. Back at the Town Hall at 11 o'clock, the Kearsarge Conservatory of the Performing Arts is putting on the Gingerbread Man. And this is free to the public. And then around 1.30, we apparently have been told that Santa and Mrs. Santa will be arriving, perhaps by fire engine. The Kearsarge Indian Museum is open also from 10 to 4 and uh, they have their gift shop and they have a snow snake craft going on that day. Right here at Main Street Bookends, we're extending our hours that day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So we're going to be open for a long time that day. Um, I'll be down in the gallery doing readings, uh, seasonal readings for children if they wish. But the big attraction is that we're going to have two of Warner's esteemed children's authors here. We're going to have David Elliott here from 11 to 12.30, and we're going to have Matt Forrest Essenwein here from 2 to 4. We're going to have a group of, of um, homeschoolers caroling around the town. Um, Pillsbury Free Library has Winter Stories story time going on at 10 o'clock, and then 10.30 to 1.30, they're going to be having a craft going on. Refreshments will be going on there as well. Uh, the Family Closet Thrift Book Boutique is open from 9 to 4, and they have some special programs going on in there for, um, for, the, for the clothing. Warner Connects Food Pantry is, hoping, is, is hosting an open house from 10 to 12, and the Telephone Museum is planning the Polar Express um, themed day, which includes a train set up, hot cocoa, marshmallows, all of this is free to the public. And the Main Street Warner Inc. is extremely happy to be able to present um, this year on the lawn of the lodge, just behind the Soldier's Monument, um, will be Peg Ch Chaffee and Cheryl Sager. And these are two professional musicians who love to carol. That rolls into a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of three great restaurants that are going to be open, which would be uh, the Kitchen Warner, here in Warner, Reed's North, and Charlie Mack's Pizzeria. And then you can wind up the evening, if you wish, by going up to Magdalene, because their choir will be presenting the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols, and that's at 7.30. So all of this roster, all of this information can be found on our website. It's going to be a day and evening of festivities and being able to celebrate what we haven't been able to celebrate for a while. Tis the season. Let's hear about the return of a regular seasonal event at the New London Historical Society. This year we're having it on Sunday, December 11th from 3 to 5 and we're hoping there's some snow because Santa will be here in his sleigh for kids to have pictures taken with, maybe bring a Christmas list that they've put together. And we have singers from the elementary school starting at 3.15 and then the Lowe sisters come on at 4 and feel free to jump in and sing along with them. We also have a wreath sale going on where we have 18 wreaths 
that are coming from Arm Three Rivers Farm in Franklin and local artists and crafters have decorated them and they're for sale around the barn and last year we had every single one of them went and this year we've had people begging to help decorate. We have local garden club ladies, we have Pumpkin Blossom Farm from Warner, Alley Oops from New London um, helping decorate as well as some board members from the Historical Society and a few children are decorating wreaths this year as well. There'll be cookies and cocoa and it's just a lovely way to kick off the holiday season. It's at the, in the Pillsbury Barn at the New London Historical Society and there's plenty of parking. It's free to the public and just come and enjoy. The Historical Society has been here for many, many years. It's a small village where we have different buildings that served different purposes back in the day and have always been important to New London. We have a schoolhouse, we have a machine shop, we have different barns, we have a lovely transportation building and you can um, come visit by appointment or usually we're open on Sundays depending on the season and we have events here for the public. We've had weddings this past summer, we have memorial services or just meetings for anybody who wants to utilize our historical space. Again, this year it's, de it's December 11th um, from th 3 to 5 p.m. in the very barn on the um, property of the New London Historical Society. Oh, we'll be, no, we'll be selling um, crafts and holiday items made by local artists as well, but um, the main thing is just come sing some Christmas carols, get in the holiday spirit, see Santa, and buy a wreath. Thank you, Megan, and thank you to the New London Historical Society for all the educational and fun activities you provide. When we come back, I'll be joined here at MJ Harrington Jewelers by the president of the Newport Chamber to hear what's happening in the Sunshine Town this holiday season. But first, please keep watching your Yankee Chronicle as we hear from another one of the fine businesses that are supporting this show. Please stay with us.